I have, to do, I have prepared this presentation with my colleague Agnieszka Czerwińska. And I have a question to you. What is the main source of energy for Earth? Please write the chat. Answer of my question, this is the right answer. So the source of energy is the sun. Okay, distance between the sun and earth is 150 million kilometers. And what is interesting, the distance from the sun, it is a distance to that in earth we will. We have life because when you look on Mercury and Venus, this planet is so close to the uh, Sun, and uh, the uh, degree is uh, uh, in this planet is very big. And when you look on Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, another Planet, uh, much farther uh, from sun, you also observe that, uh, that uh, temperature in that planet is uh, enough for our life. How do we have energy from the sun? In a source of energy is thermonuclear um, uh, reaction uh, which has played in uh, sun core and energy uh, uh, produ produ produced in core uh, and uh, to, uh, uh, to photosphere, chronosphere and corona And it's uh, interesting that in uh, the solar, uh, in sun core, we have 50 billion Celsius degree temp temperature in photosphere and chronosphere. This temperature is lower, but in corona, we have 2 million uh, Celsius degree. Uh, this energy we can observe this energy in the in La, La, as Tares, uh, which are solar explosions pointing into the space and protuberance uh, which are usually accurate streams of gas that appears on the sun in above of the of the slide you can observe in the left part protuberance, how, spectac how spectacular uh, this process is. We can part uh, solar radiation in three main bands on UV, visible and infrared radiation. For a very important is uh, UV, the scope of this presentation, but visible a spectrum we can uh, see um, uh, object and any other uh, uh, processes. Yeah, that infrared radiation is uh, the biggest value and the last part of uh, solar radiation bounds. Uh, parted our ultraviolet radiation if in free my uh, free bands uh, UVC radiation from 100 to 280 nanometers UV from 2 280 to 350 nanometers and the last it is UVA radiation from 350 to 
400 nanometers. In this I would like you to show you how you radiation penetrate our atmosphere and to which bounds of UV radiation goes to Earth's surface. You can observe that UVC radiation is completely absorbed in stratosphere by throughout ozone layer. Ozone layer is a is small uh, layer between uh, 20 kilometers to 50 kilometers about, uh, above the uh, Earth's surface. Uh, you can observe that UVB radiation is absorbed by transfere by ozone layer and then we can observe the small, uh, small part of this radiation uh, we goes to surface and UVA radiation goes which out lack of energy uh, to our earth uh, uh, throughout our atmosphere go to the deep sea level. In the left, you can observe how radiation is absorbed, scatters uh, many objects. And first of all, you can see that over 90% of you, you can penetrate light clouds. Clean now reflects up to 80 percent of sun of sun and UV five uh, by four percent for each hundred meters increase in altitude sixty percent of UV is recycled between 10 m and 2 p daily in those received 10 percent to 20 percent of outdoor workers yet UV exposure Shade can reduce UV by 50% or more. At half meter deep, UV as is still 50 is 40% as in 10 as at the surface, and white sand reflect up to 50% of UV. This is simplification of UV radiation. And okay, now we have a slide where we have information about an excessive exposure to UV radiation can cause. And uh, we think energy to sun rays, spawn the skin, cancer development, sunburns, and also the extraction of the DNA structure. We have negative negative influence of radiation, but if we have negative influence, we also have positive influence. And first of all, I would like to show you how aging look like. In this picture, we have face of the same. Uh, uh, of my colleagues, Agnieszka, and you can observe that the uh, left side is in uh, infrared ra uh, radiation, but the right side is in daylight radiation. You can observe that in infrared radiation, on, ski, on uh, his, uh, her skin, we observe many black spots. This spot is what do radiation give us? And it is tanning, VD3, supporting certain disease treatment like uh, psoriasis, and for this phototherapy. And also, it can be used to disinfect the operation room in the hospital. And you can observe for this uh, UVC radiation. And uh, we can conclude from this. Which is that this small ozone layer, which has only 
3 millimeters, we blocked UVC radiation, and thanks to this, we have life of our planet because this is deadly, deadly spectrum of UV radiation. And about this, and use this radiation to infect the operation room in hospital. Uh, all for us is important UV index. But first of all, for this wallpapers, but now I'm starting about UV index. UV index is international measure of the UV radiation sunburns. It's expressed in dimensional units and it is in another words it is information about the intensity of UV. It was forms of protection recommendation by uh, WHO, World Health Organization, and we can bounce this UV index in three bands. First bounds is one to two, and uh, when we have situation with this bounds, we not have protection, and we can stay outside. When we have set the bounds, we should use protection. Protections. Uh, six shade during midnight hours, sleep on shirts, slops and sunscreen, and slap on head. The last band is very dangerous for us, and during this situation, this situation many times is in our latitudes, and in this time you should avoid the outside to make sure sure you seek shade, she asking and hat, and this is very important. Obtain information about the UV index. We can obtain this information from weather forecast. From handheld UV index meters and from measurements from the ARB meteorology station. Yes, we prepare for you um, photos with handheld UV index meters. This UV index meter uh, was um, were by in the supermarket, and what is funny is this cheap and the best information about UV index for specific location at specific time. Because when we have weather forecast or UV index meter forecast, we have this forecast for specific hours. But when we use and for specific location, but when we use this UV index meters, we have information about UV index for specific location, for specific time, for us. And how this UV meter works, we have a graph with UV index in vertical axis and ours in horizontal axis. We have line uh, orange from origin, or Oregon and silver for silver crest. And we observe that the origin was uh, more, uh, the biggest value of UV index in mid uh, in uh, morning hours. And, uh, but in midnight hours, origin give, uh, give us. Uh, uh, less information about the UV index. The silver crest similar situation has place in midnight, mid uh, in uh, during noon hours. That silver crest give us a bigger value of UV index in midnight hours and 
in uh, in late afternoon. Okay, now we can go to influence of UV index, and this is season because in our latitudes we can observe that UV index uh, uh, sometimes has bigger value than in winter time. Uh, in uh, in Poland, in July, we can observe UV index uh, for hours, so it is. Uh, uh, six uh, during winter, many times it is only one in one UV index. On this time of day, we can observe it in, uh, uh, that during midnight hours, the uh, value of UV index is biggest than um, in morning hours or uh, afternoon hours. Also important is geographic location because we know that in uh, equatorial uh, uh, UV index is uh, 11, but in our uh, latitude we have only six. Also, and this altitude above sea level because we know from earlier that life. 300 meters, U index rise by 4%. Also important is total ozone value because you, you should know from earlier slides that uh, ozone layer block UV radiation and also important ontological uh, condition like cloud. Or fog. In this presentation, I have additional material. We have uh, much richer information about factors affecting the weak waking of solar radiation. But now we should go to important part of our presentation on what depends on duration of sunburn, sun buffing which out sunburn, and which out the current, the current UV index, skin type, or rather individually sensitive to sun rays, used to sun protection factor, SPF. Many people, I think, have this factor first time. But first of all, we should consider what exactly skin phototype is. The type is a um, scale from Fitzpatrick, where we have information about type of human skin. And for type 1, we have light pale weight skin, and people with the skin always burns, never tans. People with phototype. Six uh, and towns very easily. These people uh, black, very dark brown to black. First, I have scale for this phototype. How this uh, on how this scale look like on humans? Time two. Consider what photo type you have, and we think to work and I store to exercise two. First of all. We should consider what we have. At least select your first skin phototype. Please the type. And on this graph, 
use phototypes. For phototypes one, we have black line. For phototypes two, we have red line. And phototypes three, we have green line. And in horizontal axis, we have UV index. And in vertical axis, we have direction to sun exposure, which are erythema in units. And today, we can consider that we have UV index. Six, but this is only a uh, consideration. This is not a fact because in uh, in this in December December we have UV index one. Okay, I phototype two, and I for me and for my UV index I go uh, by the vertical axis to red line, and in this point where I cross. This line, I go horizontally to uh, minutes axis. And me, for the power index 6, it is 30 minutes to uh, sun exposure, which are a rhythm. Please now similar things and time for you, which is proper to avoid. If you want, we can go to next, the next presentation. My slide, I should answer how do sunscreen sunscreens work. And we have two filters in sunscreens. First, uh, filter, digital filter, and uh, the filters absorbs energy from the sun. Second, these physical filters, and uh, these filters do not let UV radiation. Many times they work as micro mirrors. Now, I'd like to show you how sunscreen works to this. My prep. Thank you for watching. Now you should know how sunscreen works. Oh, what about SPF? And about last part of our exercise two from worksheet. SPF sun protective factor cause and used to multiple duration of sun exposure, which are some. Example. 
Okay, we go to the shop and we go uh, buy sunscreen with SPF 50. Do 50. Do you have uh, do you know, uh, sun exposure with a sunburn is equal three minutes for me? The rate of sun exposure with a sunburn with SPF 50. It is equal minutes pull by 15 and this is exercise for you that this information to this point where we have if I use sunscreen it will be pp okay What should, what should the uh, safe sunscreen be? It contains both filters, chemical and physical. It protects against UVA and UVB. It's intended to use, to use at least SPF 50. A filter cream to be effective. Cream should be applied every two hours. Do not lubricate it properly. Do not forget about each mouth and neck. Rapidly then screen after each bath and excessive effort. This is important because many times when we start our activity uh, on the on the water or on, on the on the bath, we forget about use the filter cream after the of something like that on after a ball, ball play or football play and, uh, uh, during this time when we our skin uh, we remove filter cream from our skin oh now we have this all all information we obtain scenario. What should be the scenario of being in bath? Oh, so vitamin D is faster than burns. It should be balanced accordingly. It is recommended that from April to September in Poland, expose 20% of the body directly to the sun for 10 to 15 minutes. Only after this time, apply a filter cream. People with phototype 1, some allergy and skin, should the screen filters always for immediately exposure. Thanks. But now it is not exactly you, you remember from this presentation and answer this. A uh, big question in exercise one. Okay, do that. Okay. Thank you much. Question this is far time for you. Thank you. The, and sorry for my English, you know, this is not my mother language.
Sim.